very big day for Miami. Why was it so important for you to be here? I know the donation, but to be here and to engage with everybody on a day like that. Well, it's Miami football, um, you know, to, to have the opportunity to come back with my family, uh, to see this unbelievable facility, um, something that I never had when I was here. And um, this, is, this is just such a beautiful place, and it was important for, for me and my family to come back for it. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you walked in the door and saw the finished product? Wow. Um, like I said up there, I, I, honestly, there was coaches and scouts that come to me and say, this indoor facility, wait till you see it, it blows a lot of places. Uh, both both NFL and colleges away, and so to walk in the door for the first time just is such a beautiful place. How, how important to see your name um, associated with a beautiful facility like this, and how important was it for you to be involved? Well, it's, this is this is my school. You know, it's a it's an honor to to be a, a graduate, to be an alumni, um, and it's it's something that I was hoping in you know 10, 15, 20 years my kids can go back and see their name on the field and just um, you know it means something to them too. <laughs> it's pretty cool uh, to walk in and see that long last name and stretch across the field. It's, uh, it's a neat thing. What was Miami for your development, not, not just a football player, but everything you're about? You know, I, I get a lot of questions. Why didn't I go to Ohio State? You're from Ohio. That seems to be the typical uh, thought that everyone thought I should went to Ohio State. And you know what? It was all about the school. It was all about the, the coach, Coach Hepner at the time. It was about the football program, the academics. I mean, everything about this place, um, it was a no-brainer for me. And, and I, I think back on what if I would have went somewhere else. And um, I'm so glad I didn't. Ben, back how would your experience here as an athlete, you know, would have been different? You know, had you had this facility? Well, like I said, we would have been able to practice more. We wouldn't have had to go on AstroTurf so much. Um, but you can practice all the time. Um, and, you know, whether it's winter conditioning, whether it's practicing in um, bad weather, it just is it's such an awesome facility. I know uh, being with the Steelers, we have an indoor, so we know that we go inside. And you can always get a, a day's work of work, a day's work of work, day's worth of work in. So it's just um, it's great for, for all the students in all sports. That's the, the neat part about it. It's not just football. Yeah, and on, on our pro day, when we had NFL scouts here, they were all saying, Oh, this facility knocks OSU and OU UC out of the park. What do Correct. you think about it? Yeah, I agree, um, and that's what they've said to me too. And I just know if I'd had this on my pro day, uh, you know, it would have been. I was outside on the astroturf. turf. You get bad weather. This, hopefully, this facility could help get more players here, raise the football program here, and, and other sports, and, and get more Miami guys in the NFL. Good. 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 Wouldn't be a great sir. place for you to come coming out of high school. Just uh, you know, you had. Just one year that you right. had to really show yourself. And it was perfect. Year. It was perfect for me. It was, um, you know, and that's what I, I tell I tell a lot of kids and recruits yeah. now is like, you can go try and be a big fish in a big pond, but that's so so hard to do. Why not go try and be a big fish in a medium to smaller pond? And this is by no means a small pond, but this is a perfect fit for me. You know, this was a, a great, great football program that, that we did some great things, especially, you know, our, my last year here. And Hepner he was... Uh, he was the exclamation point. He was he was the capital letters and the exclamation point for me. Obviously, that uh, that academics, how beautiful this campus is, being close to home. But but Coach Hepner really was, uh, you know, the main reason why I came. I talked to your mom. She said when she first came, she gets sick on hills, so she didn't, she didn't like it here. <laughs> she didn't like to drive as much as my dad and I did, but um, I think she's gotten used to it. Last last thing. Uh, I'm on the hot field and you're sitting up there and you look out and see what there's two little kids. I mean, this is everything kind of, and your mom and dad, everything kind of comes together for them. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's awesome to have them here. It wouldn't have been the same if it would have just been me. Um, but to see my kids in the front row, my daughter walking around on the grass, and, and you know, like I said, this is just something that, that can be a legacy of our families for a long time. Do you feel a kinship with Harbaugh at all? Yeah, you know, we and, and he didn't lie when he said that. Before every game, we, we talk to each other at midfield, and it's, it's 99.9% .9 of the time it's about Miami and about the football program, whatever happens. So, um, you know, people talk about the rivalry that, that is Baltimore-Pittsburgh, and it, there's no doubt it's there, but there's also that Miami that, that kind of trumps a little bit of all that uh, as well. Good to see you as well. See you soon, I guess. Do you see this as another important step in Miami? Absolutely. You're not going to be able to jump from, from here to here overnight. You know, you've got to take steps. And, and this is a huge step for Miami football, for Miami athletics uh, in, in general. I do. I do. I, I, I like what we've seen so far. We just want to keep seeing more, you know.